But I just dropped my parents off at the airport and I am ready to go to the gym. So we're going to start off again, making a little bit of my pre-workout and protein because I cannot work out without my pre-workout. I am always in need of Amino Energy. This is the brand that I've always used since I first started working out about, I don't even know, 10 years ago. Oh, let me put some water in this. I'll do about like eight ounces of water on each side for my protein and my aminos. And I'll do three scoops of this. And I like the green apple flavor a ton because it tastes really good. It tastes like a lollipop to me. But since I just dropped my parents off at the airport, they're going back home and now I'm all by myself again. And that never feels incredible. I mean, it does to some extent. Like when you're in your own apartment, you have your own things and your own routine, that feels good. But just, you know, having family around is always good. So I try to appreciate the moments of when they are here and, uh, and being thankful for the times that they are versus not being thankful or in the moment for the times when they're not. I think we like to focus, or at least I do, I like to focus on things that are just wrong sometimes instead of focusing on things that are good. And one thing I have learned in being in Christ and in my relationship with Jesus is that we should be thankful for all our circumstances, not just when things are going the way that we would like it to go, but being thankful even when things don't go the way that we want them to go. So I guess more often than not now, I tend to count my blessings and start to focus on the good things that are happening instead of all the bad things. Because, you know, they could leave and I could be like, I, I'm going to miss my family so much. I miss my mom and my dad and... What am I going to do without them? And I'm, I'm not going to be able to have anyone to talk to anymore. But instead, I'm just like, wait a second. Like, what about all the incredible things? Like, I like to focus on a year ago, I would have given anything to escape my parents' house and have a space of my own. And so just focusing on like that, being able to be thankful that, wow, like I actually have my own apartment and my own things. And I may be far away from my family, but I've also been introduced to a ton of new friends while I've been in Pittsburgh. So just being thankful in that regard of just like being present in the moment of like, what do I have? Right now, I just started this gym vlog and I'm thankful for being able to create videos every day that people seem to enjoy. And I'm also really thankful that I can even work out because many people in my position, they might not have the opportunity to work on their body. They might be bedridden or in the hospital. And so just being able to be healthy and being able to go to the gym, even while it's snowing outside, because today was a snow day, which was awesome. But that is a blessing in disguise. And I want to appreciate every single day and be thankful for something in my present moment. And like it says in the Bible, it says, you know, come to his throne room with thanksgiving or come to his temple with thanksgiving. Um, approach him in his presence with thanksgiving. Be thankful in all of your circumstances. And you don't really have to think too hard to just be thankful for at least one thing in your life presently. Continuing to keep that as a habit in my life makes it easier. So just developing that habit of just wherever I find myself being more and more thankful. So I can give you guys a list of things that I'm thankful for. But I'll save that for God. Let's go to the gym. We're done. You guys should have seen the way that I came into the gym today because it was snowing outside. And I had my long pants on and a huge sweater that would keep me from getting cold. Um, also, I love the fact that as soon as I started recording, the music went up a ton. So hopefully you guys still be able to hear me correctly here. There's, it's always a mission to try to record, like always a mission. As you guys know, we're starting off with some stretching. I always wanna make sure that I stretch beforehand. If we're not stretching on a leg day more specifically, I think we're probably going to pull a muscle or something. It's, it's not going to be good at all. I like to do some toe touches. Just I'm going to go back a little bit. I like to do some toe touches. I'm just going to be touching my toes like this. So I decided to do legs today because we were supposed to do chest and back yesterday. But I spent the day with my parents. I did come into the gym, but I came in way too late. And so right when I started recording, they were like, <clears throat> Excuse me, everybody. The gym is now closed. The gym is now closed. I was like, well, that was a waste of time. <laughs> but we weren't able to do the uh, the chest and the back like I planned. 
So we're just going to do legs instead today. And tomorrow anyways, tomorrow starts my actual workout routine. Um, we're going to be doing biceps and chest for the first time. So you guys are going to be witnessing that. You're going to be witnessing history come to pass. But for now, let's make sure we get a nice, good stretch on these hamstrings and these quads. Because I think I'm going to be deadlifting and squatting for you guys. Which is going to be a little nerve-wracking for me because people make fun of the way that I squat for some reason. But All right, so make sure you get a nice little good stretch. You want to touch your toes. Do some of these. Touch them in this way. And, uh, and then, of course, do a little bit of some butterfly stretches here. Going up and down. And stretching out the back. I'm going to continue to stretch. And we will start our first leg workout. All right, okay, so I just... Finish loading on some 10 pounds. This is just gonna be a little bit of a warm up before we get started. I don't wanna go into this like super heavy without warming up my body first. And so uh, the squats are always a little bit difficult for me. I think they can be difficult for anybody. Honestly, training legs is just really hard sometimes. Uh, and I have to admit, today I had a pizza, so I should have done some, but just a slice. Just a slice of pizza, nothing crazy. <laughs> but anyways, all right, so I'm going to be doing just, I think it's like a conventional squat, up and down, pretty simple stuff. Ugh. All right, just a little bit of a warm up. I just want to get a good stretch going on here. So there's such thing as a low bar and a high bar. Um, I like to do low bar, which just means that the, the bar, as you can see, is kind of on my shoulder blades. That's just where I like to place the bar. It's kind of just how my trainer taught me. And I've just always been low bar ever since then. Also, try to keep your chest up and your face up as well. It kind of helps with the breathing. And when you're going down, breathe in. <sighs> breathe out when you're coming up. But yeah, just doing a couple of these. Just get the, the blood flow started. Oh, gosh. I don't know why squats are so difficult. All right, that should be like 10 or something. This is just 10 pounds. Now I'm going to bring it up to 45, 45 pounds. And it was not my fault that I had pizza. Um, like I said, my parents were visiting this morning and my dad wanted to have pizza. And so he was tempting me with the idea of a deep dish pizza. I only had one slice. I could have eaten an entire pizza just by myself. Eight by ten. I think it's like six slices. So I was good and trying to keep to my diet, especially as I'm editing these videos. I'm starting to notice, starting to notice that I do need to shut off a little bit of weight. <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to keep a good diet. And today I have to meal prep. I gotta get home, gotta do some chicken because I got no more chicken left. All right, now we got the 45 plate loaded and locked. I'm gonna switch the angle so you guys can see me hit this. Oh man, these are the days that I wish I drank one of those like really strong pre-workouts because my amino energy is like a coffee. Doesn't doesn't give me a ton of caffeine. I right, saw so one, two, three, nine, ten, eleven. I really got to focus on my breathing. And twelve. All right. Oh, man. Why is that always difficult? Oh, my goodness. Just something about training legs that is always leaves you out of breath. It's like the whole body movement component. It's not just like one isolated muscle. It's like everything in your body. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna try to add a 25 plate to this. I haven't done 45 and a 25, I think since I moved to Pittsburgh. So hopefully I don't break myself in the process of doing this. Also, one of the reasons why I'm trying to push myself more is because I realized that my legs are not gonna to grow to the size that I want them to grow unless I am really adding the weight to my routines. And I've just been kind of coasting these past couple of years. I know that I could probably do a lot more. If I've been hitting the gym for 10 years and I can only hit like a 45 plate with like a 25, that's really not that much. And so I really want girth, I want thick legs, big legs. That's only gonna get there if I'm consistently hitting it with really, really, really heavy weight. So I'm trying to push myself to go above what I normally do because I know I want to grow. And that's, that's the only way to grow. It's going to be by lifting heavy 
and eating a lot. So, but eating healthy, not eating like pizza. All right, let's see if I can hit this properly. I don't know if I will be able to, but let's try. My friend taught me to squat really deep. This is as far as I can go. <laughs> Four. Seven. Oh gosh, eight. All right, let's only do eight for now. I don't want to push myself too much. I think I'll, I'm going to go up to 35. I'm going to, I'm going to push myself. <laughs> let's see what happens. I'm scared. Oh no, I'm scared. All right. Okay, guys. So we have the 45 and the 35 plate on there. I don't know how to do math. So you guys can do that for me, but I'm going to try to squat this. Let's see how it goes. I've also got some blasting music on right now, so I can't even hear whether I'm talking loud or not. I forgot to put on the clips. Oh, one, two, oh, three, four, eight. Someone told me one time that I bounce too much when I squat. I'm trying my best. I'm trying, I'm trying my best. Most people can't even do this. I'm trying. Something that I love to do just to psych myself up before hitting squats is just imagining what my legs could look like if I completed the squat exercise. So I am jamming out to some Jonas Brothers circa 2009 or whatever and imagining that I have thick, incredible, muscle-licious legs. Six, I have to log on to that. Seven. Uh, Nate. Ah, oh, all right. We did that. I'm trying to waste any more time because the gym is about to close and I want to make sure I hit other exercises and I don't pull a half worked workout. Attention all UOC gym members, we will be closing in 30 minutes. Again, we will be closing in 30 minutes. So finish <laughs> up your last sets and head for the door. Thank you. They're going to close in 30 minutes, so I better hurry up. I didn't plan that. So I'm going to do some deadlifts now. I believe these are called stiff legged deadlifts. So I'm going to put my, my feet shoulder width apart and I'm just going to bring it low. Um, maybe I should turn a little bit this way. I'm going to try to keep my back straight. Five, six, nine, 10, 11, 12. I always feel those the next day, no matter what. I, I can barely walk the next days when I do those. So I added a 10 to my already existing 45 plate, shoulder width, going, going down, close to the legs, flat back, five, Six, nine, and ten. What? Two more. Eleven, and twelve. Good stuff. Got one more set, then I'll move to another exercise. So I just want to say for those of you who are thinking of buying the Sony VE or ZE10 camera, the battery goes by super quickly. I mean, less than an hour of shooting, and my battery is done for. Usually when I do squats and deadlifts, I don't know why, I just love to do this inner and outer thigh abductor adductor machine. I had an injury recently riding a, what is it called, a bull, mechanical bull. And so I'm a little bit weak on the inner thigh and sucks, but I'm training to repair it a little bit. So let's go ahead and let's do 20. Oh, this is 80 pounds. One, two, three. Four, this is pretty easy. Let me go up a little bit. 
I'm gonna do 110. Oh, five, 16. All right, so I'm gonna do this two more times. Then I'm gonna switch over here. So that was the inner, this is the outer. So one, two, three, nine, 10. And sorry if I'm going a little fast, guys. Like I said, they're closing the gym. Wanna make sure I get everything in today. 16, 19, and 20. Ooh, I'm gonna finish these off, off camera. They're about to throw me out this gym because it's already six o'clock and I gotta get the heck out of here. We will reconvene for the next upload. I'm really excited for you guys to see my full workout with no time constraints. Sorry, this is a little bit shorter than usual, but uh, pretty good workout. Got some deadlifts, got some uh, squats in, a little bit of the inner and outer thighs. Pretty good leg day on a Sunday for sure. All right, see you guys next time. Bye. Don't forget to pray today.